issue of adultery. Mm -hmm. Now, if that person, if the other spouse has committed adultery and the petitioner, that is the person who's petitioning the court, mm -hmm. finds it intolerable to live with that act. So there are two elements that the person, one of the spouses has committed adultery mm -hmm. and that the other party finds it intolerable mm -hmm. to live with it. Mm -hmm. So, say for instance, the wife commits adultery and the wife and the husband finds out mm -hmm. and he does nothing about it. And um, probably they have another child after that discovery. He has not, it means that the adultery did not it affect him. It means him. that you went along with the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you cannot come around again after five years or three years to say she committed adultery in 1995. So on that ground, it means that you found it, you didn't find it intolerable. It was, it was tolerable for you to At yes. the time. be able to, okay. Have so you child. must show that you found it intolerable. So there are two elements. She must have committed adultery. So adultery alone cannot ground it. Okay. You must show that you found it intolerable. So in that situation, you must act fast. If you continue with the marriage... After another two years... Yes, doing, you, you know, being in a you know, proper marriage and all of that, having, you know, conjugal relationships mm. and all of that, and you now come around to say... Oh, she committed adultery three years ago. What if the I conjugal am. is once, once? <coughs> well, they said if we do it once, it's consummated. No, no, no. no, no. Consummation no. is different from no, mm. the asking. conjugal yeah. duties after the discovery. After the discovery of adultery. Now, in that situation, we'll look at the fact. What okay. happened? How did that occur? Okay. She the begged me. Be she said she was not yeah. going to do it again. Or I might be under duress. Mm. Yeah, maybe uh, intoxicated. intoxicated. Mm. Uh, or drugged. Yes. Mm. But if you knowingly continue with the marriage, yeah. you cannot come around to say she's committed adultery. Okay. Mm. Now, rape. If one of the spouses was raped, that's the other spouse can say she committed adultery. He or she mm. committed adultery. Because there was no content. Yes. It wasn't willful. I was committed against them. Because actually. adultery must be willful. Willful. And even from the definition, I don't think it will cover same sex um, adultery. It doesn't? Because it says the voluntary um, act. act between people of the opposite sex. Oh, that is not fair. Well, home. maybe at the time those definitions that was we didn't what, have. Yes, do you understand okay. all this anomaly. And so all you're that. saying that in, the, in in this case now, for example, a woman goes to court and says, "I want to divorce my husband because I caught him in bed with another man." You have no I case. Have, I think that will come under law. intolerable behavior, not under adultery. I see. It can't oh. be categorized as adultery because mm. also in our law we don't even recognize same sex, do we? No, exactly. we don't. Fourteen years. Yeah, so it's, I mean, like... Uh, in, if, in if, okay, if that if ever came up, would it would yeah. be an offense. It, it is an offense. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So it's so not, it will not unfair. Even come, yes, under adultery. adultery. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs>